Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. And I've got a question from a subscriber viewer, and I was going to respond to it, respond to their email, and then I thought, wait a minute, I'll just do a video because it may be of interest to some of the other people in the audience. I won't mention the person's name, they'll know who they are by the question as I review it here. And you'll also probably hear the air conditioner, that's what that fan noise is, no problem with that. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to read it just like he states it and try to answer it as I go, or some of it. it. says, I got a question, and if this is something you do not want to go into, don't. Don't worry, I won't. I will still watch your channel and enjoy it, so I am 52 and you are 74, and I've noticed that you every now and then express, using my words, a reticence about the now and the immediate future and the near future with regards to boondocking, having a home base in town, whether you prefer a small home somewhere, slowing down, watching where you hike, etc. My question is this, you seem to be in good health. Good health actually, your mind is sharper than some people 50 years younger than you. Is the caution that seems to underlie some of your decisions related more to age creeping up on that you actually feel are merely getting ahead of the curve and looking at your age and preparing yourself for what you presume, assume, <clears throat> is to come, even though you may not actually feel that way yet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it. Anyway, another way to put it, it, put it is, are you cautious because you feel age actually creeping up on you, or are you merely looking at the calendar and assuming that you need to do this, even though you do not feel that way yet? The question is framed against my being somewhat younger than you and wondering what to expect as the odometer of life further accumulates uh, on, for me. Of course, it is understood everyone's experience with this varies widely, and that's very true. Again, if it, well, it, it, it says, anyway, <clears throat> so let's go back up here. It says, is the caution that seems to underlie some of your decision related more to age creeping up on you than, than you actually feel, or are you merely, merely getting ahead of the curve? Actually, you know, that, that, you know, it's hard. I mean, I can answer it for me, and, but, and maybe that'll help you. You know, again, I'm 74 years old. My health is, knock on wood, pretty good now. Will it continue to be that way? Who knows? Could change tonight, today, now. What, I'm look, what I do is I look at the reality of life, of living. When I go in a grocery store or Walmart and I look around and I see people in their 80s or whatever, I see how they get around and, I, and then I think, put, you know, I think about my future at my age 74 when I get to be 80, 90, whatever, if I live that long. <clears throat> you know, what will I be capable, capable of doing and not only capable of doing, see, there, that's you, there, you're going to be capable of doing a lot of things. And then add this, capable of doing safely. See, that's the key, safely. As you get older, things change. Your vision is not as good. Your hearing's not as good. Your reflexes are not as good. So, you know, it's not a question of, you know, being able to RV. It's a question of being able to do it safely without endangering other people's lives or my own life. You follow me? And I look at that because I know people uh, that are my age and older that probably uh, shouldn't be driving an automobile, more or less towing an RV. And, and then there's other things, you know, but again, all I'm doing is by acquiring a home base here in Capitan, New Mexico, and having one in Central Texas near Kingsland, Texas for the winter months, and then Capitan would be the summer months, going back and forth, uh, you know, that's that's a fairly easy way to RV. You know, you're not having to hook up every day, you know, you're not having to do a lot of maintenance on your RV because you're not towing it a lot, and you're not towing an RV for a long way. It's about 550 miles from my home base in Texas to my home base now, in Capitan, New Mexico, and that's not a bad pull. You could actually do that in two days easily, you know, just spend one night somewhere, and you've got about a 
three and a half hour drive for two days and, and you're home both ways and so that's what I'm doing it's it's uh, you know and as far as you being age 52 and looking at me age 74 and, and thinking about how your life's going to turn out you know you, you're right there are a lot of variables and there's really no way I we could even get close to what it's going to be for you but I would suggest anybody watching this video no matter what age you are be realistic you gotta know you're gonna get older now right now life is a piece of cake you know if you're under 40 or 50 years old hell it, 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 nothing to it you know, you know everything works like it always did pretty well you know but as you get older things change you know for me to take a screwdriver and screw in a screw I used to be able to do that like that you know now first of all I got to find the screw and then you know, my hands don't shake okay yet will they eventually uh, probably why because that's what happens uh, you know the natural things that happen as you get older is one you don't have the stamina that you had in your younger years two of course hearing and vision we talked about that and possibly other health care issues because your old body's just wearing out some people don't want to face that reality and they think you know well you know somehow or another I'm gonna get by with this stuff well you're not you can't trick Oh, mother nature or whoever you want father time I guess you should say but you know ha keeping your mind sharp is good you know you can do that by you know reading and you know doing things that require uh, uh, a little more concentration you know, uh, you know and that helps uh, you know but again you say another way to put it is are you cautious because you feel age actually creeping up on you well, you know, you, you, it's creeping, and, and, and I, I don't even have to think about it. It's coming. And so, yeah, I, you know, that's why I make these changes. And I'm still looking at changes even beyond this. You know, you know what's the next step? You know, when I reach the point where I no longer am able to RV safely, and that's the key. You know, a lot of people are out there on the highways driving 40-foot RV or motorhomes, diesel pushers, a lot of people are towing triple axle fifth wheels and double axles and all that kind of stuff and they're 85 90 years old i guarantee you are they doing it they're doing it but safely i don't know man you know again it's different strokes for different folks some of those people are probably very capable and safe and all of that but at some point the old candle burns out you know and that's just the way it is so you know, th this video, I'm going to title it like aging and RVing and that sort of thing because I really would like to get the word out to a lot of people my age and in that range that being able to tow an RV or drive a motorhome is one thing. That's one part of the equation. The second part of the equation, which is the, probably the most important, is can you do it safely? Can you do it safely or are you as safe? You know, I mean, I know there's people that have been driving down the road and, and were this close to flipping their their unit and their car or whatever because, you know, it you you just you don't have a nobody is a hundred has a hundred percent attention span. You know, like focused, focused. You know, every now and then you do this or that, and when you were younger, you know, your reflexes were lightning fast and you could recover like that. As you get older, you know, you start to drift off to the right side or the left side of the road, and you react too quickly or whatever or too slowly and the next thing you know you got a mess but I don't want to dwell on that point I just want to make a point that yes I am planning ahead definitely always always have been and that's one of the reasons I'm in this casita RV right now I wanted to find out first of all could I live in it comfortably and enjoyably and tow it comfortably and enjoyably and the answer to all of that is yes for me I have no pets, no nothing. It's plenty of space for me, 84 square feet. I was on the internet today. I was planning ahead in my mind, thinking that at some point I may want to get me a like a mobile home or something that's in a, a mobile home park somewhere because they sell them in, you know, Kerrville, Texas, Fredericksburg, Texas, and you can pick up the RV itself or the motor, excuse me, the mobile home itself for anywhere between twenty and forty thousand dollars. The big trick on top of that is then you got to pay $375 a month uh, or, or, or excuse me, a mobile home park rent. 
Now that gives you water, electric, no, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't give you electric. It gives you water, septic, and trash. You have to pay your own electric plus your property taxes and your home insurance. And is that where I'll end up? I doubt it. And the reason is I looked at those things. And again, this is just turning the clock a little further down the road from even right now. Say to eight, you know, when I don't feel like I'm safe, then I'm through. I'm done. That's it. No more pulling. But anyway, but as far as the mobile home, you can't get a small one. You know, the smallest one I found was 940 or 980 square feet. Well, hell, that's 15 times what I've got now. Do I need that? I may be walking around like a, like a BB in a rain barrel, you know? So I'm probably going to finish up in just what I've got at one of these uh, places that I've acquired, and uh, that's the way that is. But uh, for those of you, and you're smart, I will pat you on the back for being smart by asking this question, because uh, there are those at your age and younger that just don't even think about it. Just somehow that everything's just magically going to work out. And it may, one chance in 10. But if you have a little plan, I'm not talking about every detail, but you got to have a, a sense of direction. You, you, gotta, you, know, you know you're going to get older. That's a given. You know you're going to die. That's a given. So, you know, plan for those events. You know, I mean, for those of you that are growing older, and if you're 65, or if you're 60 years old, if you're 50 years old, and you don't have a will, there's something wrong there, man. And that will ought to be specific. You got me? You know, this goes to so-and-so, this goes to so-and-so, this is disposed this way, and I want to be cremated, or I want to be taken care of this way or that way. Have it written down. Once it's written down, no problem. You can change it, change it, change it. And you can add codicils to your will and change it and do all kinds of things. And it's not expensive. A will, if you have one, if you go to, <clears throat> if you go into an attorney and draw one up, you're looking at probably three or four hundred bucks. If you can actually do it yourself, you can get a simple will over the internet, kind of change it up a little bit, type it up yourself, and get two witnesses with a notary and in Texas that's solid that'll work for you that's what I did do I recommend it for you no depends on the size of your state the number of children you've got and all kind of stuff and that's a different topic but back to this right here about related to RVing and living their life the the lifestyle that lifestyle on uh, towing an RV or driving a motorhome uh, guys all I can tell you is uh, my recommendation is know your limitations and be realistic about it. Don't kid yourself. You know, you, you can lie to everybody in the world, but you can't lie to you. You know, look in the mirror and you know. And when you reach that point where you don't feel like it's safe anymore for you and mama or just you to be out on the road towing an RV, then don't do it anymore. Do it. Stop. You know what I mean? Will I do that? Hell yes. And it won't bother me five cents. You know what I mean? It's not, there's nothing wrong with a well-planned, well-thought-out life. Does it mean you can't change it? Hell, you ch I change stuff all the time. I mean, I'm changing stuff as we speak. So having said that, thank you very much for your question. Uh, it allowed me to do a video, which I have thought about many times, but I just haven't been able to put it in focus, because aging, growing older, and RVing are good. They work together very well. But at some point, at some point, you must realize that you may not be safe on the highway anymore. And I'm not worried about you or me. I'm worried about those other people that have children and, and family that you may annihilate while you're looking out the window and you saw a deer. You got me? And your reflexes were so slow that you couldn't respond and get your vehicle back in line. So I'm aware of all that, and I think about that quite a bit. Of course, I tow, I've slowed down. I tow at 55 miles an hour now, you know, and I take road, two-lane roads, and sometimes interstates, not often. But I, I try to be very, very, very safe, and I don't extend my driving periods. In other words, like, I'll be driving back to Texas, and I'll probably won't drive any longer than three hours in one day. That's a piece of cake. You know what I mean? But I, even then, I'll take breaks. I mean, a three-hour trip, you know, that should be three hours, it may take me four and a half because I'll stop along the way and take a break, eat, you know, maybe have a snack. Enough said about that. The point being, aging, growing older, and RVing, as long as you're safe, do it and enjoy it. Having said that, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want.
any time. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you one penny. That's if you want to go to the trouble to do it, fine. Some of you are. Some of you have used the link. Thank you very much. Pat yourself on the back. But having said that, what else? Drink plenty of water. And th these things I'm fixing to say will help you age gracefully. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. It'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. What else? Take deep breaths. Hold it in for a few seconds and breathe out slowly. Why? What does that do? That relieves stress. And what does that do? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? My God, the number one killer in the United States. High blood pressure. Heart problems. But anyway, having said that, that but those are free. The, those are free. And here's another one that's free. Exercise your body. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Do that one. You exercise your body once or twice a day. Every day. Not every other day. Not once a week every single day. Why? Because you ain't got nothing else to do anyway. It only takes a few minutes. What else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobe. This is where you are basically. That's where your consciousness is, right in that brain. Okay? And if you put in bad ingredients, you're going to have bad thoughts, bad dreams. You're not going to rest well. You know, stand guard. You know, you know, don't let, t don't let the TV media eat you up. Come on. You know what I mean? But be that as it may, you do what you do, I do what I do. I'm just making recommendations. And all those things that I said right there were totally free. You don't have to take any drugs for that. You don't have to go to the doctor. It'll, I haven't been to a doctor. I'm just knocking on wood here because I may have to go tomorrow. But I haven't been to a doctor in probably 25 years, okay, or 20 years, long time. I can't even remember. I don't even know a doctor's name. Is, is that good? Does that mean you don't? You shouldn't? You should do that? No. It means that these things work. That's what it means. It means they work for me. For me, I'll say that. But having said that, guys, at ease, carry on, adios. Be careful. Bye bye.